I'm Dr. Linda Gromko, and this is Transgender Medicine Made Simple. Today's topic is when you cannot dress in your identified gender or when you can't present. If you're in a job or in a relationship where you cannot dress in your identified gender, you might need to have a safety valve, so a safe way that you can make this happen for you at least some of the time. Why would this conflict arise? Well, you can have a spouse or a partner who may not know that a person is transgender or gender nonconforming. You can have a spouse or a partner who does not approve. A spouse or a partner who may, not, may be okay with the dressing, but may not want to be involved. And you can be in a situation where an individual is very early in the process and just starting to transition. Am I recommending that people dress in secret? Not really, because secrets can damage trust. But I understand that the need to express one's gender identity and to relieve gender dysphoria can be compelling. People may need to find safe ways to dress, especially in the early parts of their process. Here are some of the solutions that have worked for people that I've known. First of all, you can attend gender conferences. Things like Esprit in Washington State, usually in May. There's the trans conference in Philadelphia every summer. But just look up transgender events in your area and you're undoubtedly going to find some things that will be of help to you. You can also attend professional events, like continuing medical education, for example, CME, especially out of town, if confidentiality is a concern. While expensive, some trans women I've known have banded together to rent a small apartment that they can dress in and work in and that sort of thing. It's a private place and it's really a help to them. You may find a space where a number of people may pay a monthly rent or a membership uh, fee to have closet space, changing and dressing space, and just a private place to take care of this part of your life. More ideas. Get out of town for a few days with or without your spouse, but where you are able to dress with freedom and comfort. One of my patients says, go shopping. It's always somebody's birthday. Go to your doctor's appointments dressed as you wish. Vary your presentation depending on your life's circumstances. That's okay. Go to your gender support meetings dressed in the way that you would prefer. And go to your AA meeting or other support group meeting dressed as you wish. So what could go wrong? Well, you could be recognized or outed by a friend or a colleague or a friend or colleague of your spouse, and this can be awkward. This can happen before an individual is ready to share this part of themselves with their spouse. And as our mothers always warned, we might find ourselves in the emergency room with little control over your situation. Here's how one of my patients um, handled a situation that could have become awkward. She was in a traffic accident on the freeway, but she wasn't hurt. But she was waiting for the police to come, and while she was waiting, she called them at 911, and she said her appearance would not be matching her ID. And when the officer arrived, she was treated with total courtesy, total respect, and the fact that there were no surprises seemed to help that situation. When you're worried in advance about a criticism that might come or an awkward moment, you can prepare by thinking about this in advance. I had a patient who was saying, what are they going to say about my acrylic nails when I'm in the ICU? But she thought about it for a while, and then when she was actually in that situation, she said to the nurse, festive, aren't they? And everybody had a good laugh. People are less likely to be dangerous to you if they're laughing and if they're having fun. Each of us knows our own life best, so think carefully and make the best choices you can for your own life and the people that you care about. 
I hope this little video gave you some things to think about. If it was useful for you, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Transgender Medicine Made Simple. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.